Hi everybody, welcome back. Now let's create the back. We have already created the front of the five pocket jeans and we take that forward, we create the back of the five pocket jeans. Now we're going to create the back and for that all we need is just the two legs. So we're going to copy it from here. I'll use the white arrow because that helps even if the object is grouped. If I use the white arrow and select on the objects I can copy them separately there you go so that's what you can do with the white arrow now I'm finding this a little awkward so I'll just bring it back to the center and so that they don't look so weird here because at the back it is slightly has to be taken care of better okay and now the next thing is I don't want to have the scoop here I can even keep it straight or I can even bring it up. I'd rather keep it straight here because there's no need for creating this curve. And I'm going to create that little rectangle which is of the same height. So I'll copy this just to ensure that I'm having the same height of the waistband. I will bring it up here. And there you go. And with the white arrow, I just adjust the shape so it aligns with this curve. Simple. And let's go faster now. So Command C, Command F, copy and zoom in. Command C, Command F. Oops. Yes. Command C, Command F. Command C, Command F. And these become the stitch lines down the earth. And we'll copy the top stitch from here. Next thing is we copy the center back. Command C, Command F, Command C, Command F. Because these are double needle top stitches. And then we use, we create the yoke. Copying this, I don't need the white fill. And V, Command C, Command F. Oops, sorry, wrong selection. I'll just press Option on my keyboard and drag. I can make the copy. Command C, Option, drag. And these help me create copies. There. It's been many years that I've been working on jeans, so I have a good idea about the proportions. So it may take you a little bit of time to get the, the placement of the pocket or the shape of the pocket right. Take your time. You don't have to be as fast as what I am trying to do here. I've been doing denims for, a, for many years, so I'm thorough with these shapes. Command C, Command F, and press V so I can copy this stitched lines. One more time, Command C, Command F, V, there we go. And I just bring them up. You can make them parallel whatever way you want or you want to bring them a little outwards and it's a little customized, whatever you'd like to do. And then you want to create a shape here. And uh, by the way, if you're finding my videos helpful, definitely do not forget to subscribe to the channel and follow it. Now we'll add the rivet that we made here in front. We bring it to the back as well. It's gone behind, so I'll bring it to front. Again, copy with pressing the option key. And now what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I do. I, I want to just copy the pocket. So just note that I've copied the pocket, but also the body. So I'll press shift and I'll again select, which is going to help me deselect the object. Now, mirrors and bring it here. And then the last few finishing touches is just the hem. Command C, Command F, bring it up here, copy the stitch detail. And if you want to give some of your little uh, after deselecting, That's a little too big. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Can do that and boom. Some of these folds that you want to show once again, just like how we have it in front. And copy this. Let's see if it copied. It didn't create the profile, so I'm going to now create the profile. When I say profile, I mean by these. So we have these pointed edges. Yeah. And it's gone at the back and to stunt. Copy, pressing the option button. Another copy there. Whatever you want to give. Mostly it is here. Now I'm giving I'm moving it a little to the side because guess what? We have another space to or scope to to recreate is the back patch. So something that you can again explore here and create some of your artwork and use it to your benefit in terms of designing jeans. So all in all, basic five pocket jeans is what we are ready with now. Just watch carefully. I'm going to copy all of these control C, control V. I'm just showing you this here, but we'll do this right behind the jeans and look what the effect will happen is. I'm going to use the pathfinder tool Unite everything so it becomes more like this. And I'm going to increase the width of the line. I place it back. And when I send it to back, it gives me this nice outline of the silhouette. I was just showing you separately, but what I'll do it, I'll just create it here only. Now watch carefully. The legs I select and the waistband I select. And then I just say Control C and Control B. So it's, it's copied right at the back in that same place. And I'm just going to use the path. Don't click anywhere so that uh, because if you click anywhere else, it will deselect these objects that are copied right behind. So let them be selected and then unite and then just increase the width. And you can see this beautiful looking outline that is created. The two legs, the waistband, waistband and this body behind, command C, command B, or control C, control B, again, unite on pathfinder and increase the size. So grouped, grouped, and we kind of place it like that together, and hence this becomes your basic five pocket jeans, flat drawing. I might have gone a little faster in this video, but if you want to learn the basics of this entire Adobe Illustrator for fashion design, you can always check this video out right here and then come back and revisit and create your five pocket jeans. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.